Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and I'm back again with another video. Now in this video, I would like to talk about some review about the new gadget, the Apple Pencil. In this video, you will find out whether this is a good device, whether you should buy it, should designers buy it, should students buy it, or who should actually buy it. Is it worth it? How durable it is? And a lot of answers like that. So stay tuned and let's get started with the review of Apple Pencil. So I use a lot of Apple products, iPhone, Apple Watch and Apple Pencil as well and I thought it would be a good idea to share my thoughts about what I feel about this and is this gadget for everyone. So I'm going to answer a lot of questions and I hope it will help you to understand that whether you should buy the Apple Pencil or is it not for you. So first of all uh, the question is is this Apple Pencil for everyone and I would say no it's not for everyone just like Apple Watch is not for everyone. It's just an extension of your existing iPhone, but let's not go on to the Apple Watch yet. Today, uh, let's talk about this Apple Pencil. So it's definitely not for everyone because you won't be using it. And in case you, you don't have the newest iPad, that means it's just a piece of junk for you. But how good is it and what do I do with it? I use this for every single day, almost every single day. And I have been using this for almost three or four months now and it's pretty solid and durable. Now a lot of designer might be looking up that hey uh, should I buy this? Now let me get you very clear that if you are a Cintiq tablet guy who designs a lot of stuff on the Cintiq tablets, definitely you won't be switching on to the Apple Pencil as a complete alternative for a Cintiq tablet or the Wacom tablets. The resistance that you get in the Wacom tablets and a lot of tips and pens and uh, the tips that you get with the Wacom tablets, definitely you don't get with the Apple Pencil. But again, uh, this doesn't mean this is a piece of junk. It's really helpful out there. If you are thinking that, hey, I want to utilize my time and flight time or maybe some uh, travel time and I want to design a couple of things on my iPad on the go with this pencil, then definitely it is the best stylus uh, in the market, I would say. And it is somehow, if I'll compare with the stylus of the Windows uh, that they offer, I would say that this is much more better than that. I felt that. Now, another question is, when do I use it? Now, I use it every single day. And if you're a student, I would highly recommend that this is one of the key thing that you should always buy. My All of my students are really happy that their teacher has got the Apple Pencil. Now, why? Because I write all of my notes. Let's just say I want to teach somebody about uh, sorting algorithms, uh, bubble sort and all these things. I like to show them all the demonstration on the piece of paper. Now when I do that on a piece of paper or with the PowerPoint presentation, the connectivity is missing. So what I do, I teach them all of these stuffs on uh, directly on my tablet. I use a Notability app and I just directly draw in front of all the arrays and everything and I, I teach them like that. Now students are really happy because they don't have to actually borrow the PPTs or anything and don't have to, I, ha I don't have to go into the nasty animations and everything. And I simply link it to the Dropbox and they get everything from the Dropbox. So every student gets my notes. And it's really good because if you're a teacher, you're writing on the, uh, the whiteboards or blackboards, it's really good that you use technology in such a way that it's helpful for the students. Now, as a teacher, it's really kind of a benefit for me that I don't have to spend time in making PowerPoint presentations, adding some animations. I can now write on my tablet and it's really good. So it's really a good device. And I think my college life would have been really better if I would have something device like this because it's really great and I don't have to carry hundreds of notebooks for writing different notes. I don't have to worry about where is the notebook of the first sem or second sem because Everything would be technically uh, in my iPad. I can save them on the Dropbox uh, with the, and of course you have to buy a couple of apps like Notability and everything, but they are way cheap. Uh, the way I use them, it's almost nothing that I'm paying them. The price is a little bit issue. It's a little bit pricey thing uh, compared to that. But I would say that if I'll use it uh, for, let's just say a year, I would consider that it has paid its price. Now, how durable it is? Now I haven't dropped it yet. I have been using it for three or four months. I haven't dropped it because I like to keep my things organized and Apple product is something that you don't want to uh, just fell here and there. Uh, it, it doesn't really make sense to me. So I like to keep all of my gadgets really uh, nice and sturdy there. So I haven't dropped it so I cannot say much about the durability but yes it's nice. And one thing that I again like about this Apple Pencil is the size. 
Now you can see this is a very standard size and it, the pencils in India, in the UK and in America are almost exactly the, this size when they just are opened up from the box. So I'm really, uh, I would say I'm really impressed by the size of this. This is really a great piece of hardware that they have given. And I like it when people do research quite a lot on such a device on the length. And obviously the same way I get really, uh, I really get annoyed when people don't do research and come up with the absurd idea. And what is that? Yep, that's the absurd idea. The way I charge the Apple Pencil is something that I'm not happy about. For example, uh, I use this with this iPad and one thing that I don't like it is the way that it charges. This is how it charges, And uh, you can see this is not comfortable for me. Uh, but I would also say that again, the best part is how quickly it charges. And I would say within 10 to 15 minutes, it get fully charged from zero to 100 and uh, it stays up with me for almost a week. So not much a problem, but again, I really get annoyed when people don't spend time in doing research. They could have find alternative ways to charge this pencil. This is, this is not good. This is absolutely absurd that if somebody can broke, I can broke my pencil there and it's an expensive one. So I don't like it. And obviously this is not something that I would recommend to all of the people that, Hey, this is no good way of keeping your things. So, and also I don't like this cover that goes off when I need to charge my pencil because I may lose it and uh, then it would be troublesome. So I don't like that way, but I do like the sturdy build and the quality is really nice. One thing they could have done really great is could have added a small grip here so that it really feels really grippy when I write my notes or something. But again, I can work with that by adding a simple tape here. But with this price point, I expect Apple to do everything for me. So on and all, I would say this is really great piece of hardware. If you're a student, I would highly recommend to buy the new iPad Pro and this Apple Pencil and uh, try to take all of your notes there. And if you're a teacher, you should definitely jump into this. Your students will really appreciate that you are teaching all of the things like mathematics, uh, your notes or whatever you write, just write it on your iPad and share the links with the students. Moving on the technology is really great. Uh, your student will appreciate that they don't have to copy and paste the notes uh, from their notebooks. They have everything available online. So this is a really great product for uh, the students and all of that. Now, one more thing I would like to take in the part from the designer's point of view is designers will somehow feel that on the new iPad Pro, uh, when you try this, this is absolutely on the point. Uh, the connectivity that you get from the writing and drawing and sketching is really nice, but you will feel that somehow it's not equally the same resistance that you get while you're drawing on the paper. So get yourself a glass or tempered glass on iPad Pro and you will feel uh, that way the good. So it's really nice, but it's not an alternative for real world pencil, but still uh, it has to go quite a long way. And I would, I would say this is just a version one or beta one. Uh, I expect a lot of upgrades and change of these kinds of stylus. And I'm, I'm really a big fan of stylus. So I think this can go pretty long way. And uh, this was all my thoughts about the Apple Pencil. Of course, it's not for everyone. Uh, only a selected category of people and uh, their jobs can have can have or can take advantage of this Apple Pencil. So this was all the review that I could give you with the Apple Pencil. And again, of course, uh, once I use it for a year, I'll come back again and talk about what are the pros and cons of this Apple Pencil again. So with this, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do hit the subscribe button and make sure that you share this video with someone who can take advantage of this video. Till then, bye bye and I'll catch you up in the next video.